Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking these little odd and in items and I'm going to turn them into some very beautiful, simple pieces of home decor. I know that y'all are going to absolutely love this video. Let's get started on the projects. All right, guys, this first project is going to be so cute and so simple. I'm going to be using some wood knobs I had in my stash and also some floral that I thrifted as well. First, I want to antique the wood knobs because they just a little bit bright for me. So I'm just going to add some antiquing wax to them to give them a more aged look. Then I'm going to cut three sprigs of greenery. I'm going to take some hot glue. I'm going to add hot glue to the little screw hole that is in the knob. And then I'm going to put my sprig of greenery in it. It is that simple. Now, I think the heavier knobs would be better. These wooden ones were a little bit light. So if you're using a lighter knob, you want to make sure your greenery doesn't come up too high so it's not constantly falling over. Um, but it's that simple and this was just such a cute project that came out even better than I had imagined. I actually loved it so much that I went in my stash and I found some porcelain knobs so that way I could make some more of these and the porcelain knobs were a lot heavier and that's when I realized the heavier knobs definitely work a lot better. So definitely look through your stash, see if you have any little knobs you're not using and try this project. So quick, so simple, so easy and absolutely beautiful. For this next project, I'm going to be using these curtain rod finials. It is flat on one side and then it has a screw on the other. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get some pliers and I'm going to remove that screw. It is actually really very easy to do. This project was inspired by Upcycle by Brie and I will leave a link to her channel in the description below if y'all would like to check it out. My original plan for this project was actually to drill a hole in the tops into the flat side. But when I took off the screw, I realized there was a hole. So there was no need to drill another hole. But I just wanted to give y'all that idea in case you had a finial that did not have a flat side on the end and maybe it was more curved or something. You could drill a hole in it if you wanted to. I always look for good wreaths at the thrift store that I could take apart and use all the greenery. And this wreath had plenty. I only paid $2.99 for it. So now I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to um, glue my sprigs of greenery. Now what I liked about these is they were all wired together. So once my hot glue dried, I kind of moved the branches around and made it look more like a tree. I decided not to paint the finials because I thought the dark brown wood color would look really good with the greenery and also look amazing with white walls. So this is just another quick project using pieces I already had in my stash and I absolutely love the way it came out. For this project, we are going to be using finials again, and this is what I was talking about in the last project. If your finial had more of a rounded top, then you could drill a hole in the top and stick your greenery in there, but that is not what I'm going to be doing in this project. I am going to be removing the screws that are in there, and then we are going to be painting it. I'm going to be using the Fusion All-in-One paint in the color Bayberry. I am so excited to try out this paint color. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Such a beautiful, deep, rich green. So I'm just going to put one quick coat on both of these finials. And of course, all of the products I'm using in today's video, you can find on my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. These little birds are so cute. They're little ceramic, glossy white. Y'all know I've been loving glossy white. I got them on Amazon and I'll also have a link to that in the description below. It comes in a pack of six and they all look a little bit different. You could glue the birds on first and then paint your entire piece the same color and I think that would look great, but I thought it would look really pretty to pair the 
glossy white birds with the dark rich bayberry color so i'm just taking my gorilla glue and i'm gluing the birds on top of these finials and that is it for this project so y'all definitely look around y'all stash see if y'all have a finial see if y'all have a little small figurine and make yourself a piece of decor I want to thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video at our house. We absolutely love HelloFresh and get three meals a week. So if one of your New Year's resolutions was to get organized, eat better, and sit down and have dinner with your family, HelloFresh can help you do all of those things. They deliver fresh ingredients and easy recipes right to your door and take all of the hassle out of dinner time. You don't need to go to the grocery store. Everything you need is delivered right to your door. It is so convenient, guys. And it's so easy that even my kids will take everything out and start cooking because everything, including the recipe, the ingredients, all of that is right there ready for them to use. HelloFresh has over 40 weekly recipes to choose from, so you don't have to worry about being bored. And no matter your lifestyle or me uh, meal preferences, HelloFresh has recipes sure to please everyone at your table from calorie smart or carb smart to veggie and family friendly. You will always find something even, even for those picky eaters. Like I said, our family is absolutely loving HelloFresh. I highly recommend y'all trying out. Y'all can go to HelloFresh.com and you could use code Designs and Signs 65 to get 65% off your first order and free shipping. And I will have a link to everything in the description below for y'all. I just refinished a dresser and it had these drawer pulls on it that I will not be putting back on, but I liked the little pieces of hardware on the end. So we're going to be using that for this project and also this eight by eight wood craft board that is available on my website is double sided. So you could use either side and we're going to be using fusions all in one paint in the color Lichen. Y'all are going to love this color. It is a beautiful kind of mossy green, perfect for spring, but absolutely perfect for year round as well. So I'm just gonna put one quick coat of paint on here. That's all it really needed was one coat of paint. And then once it's dry, I wanna distress just the frame because I want there to be a little bit of difference between the frame and the backer. And you could add something to the backer, but I'm trying to keep these projects just really, really simple and clean. So I'm not gonna do anything. I think just distressing the frame is going to give me the look that I want. Now I'm gonna take one sprig of greenery and I'm going to hot glue it into this little the little hole that is in this tiny little piece of hardware and then I'm going to hot glue the hardware to the wood now if I had a nice thick piece of wood I would drill a hole and attach it as if you would to a dresser but since this is a thinner piece right here I'm just going to hot glue it and I just love the way that this came out it's just so simple, so clean, so pretty, so classic. I just love it, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this. On this project, I'm gonna be using a metal cheese grater, and I'm also going to be using a wreath that I will be taking apart. So I just have my wire cutters, and I'm just going to be removing some of the sprigs from this wreath to use on this project. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some sprigs of greenery into the holes of the cheese grater. Now I added a little bit of hot glue to keep it in place, but that wasn't really working out. So once I got the greenery arranged the way that I wanted, I turned it over and I hot glued the stems on the backs of the metal piece and that worked a lot better. I thought this would just be a very cute, unique way to add some floral 
and I think it would be perfect in a kitchen or dining room and I actually loved how it came out so much. I went grab another one out of my stash because I really wanted to see how it would look with smaller sprigs of lavender and I think I like the smaller sprigs better because you could really see the holes in the trees, uh, the cheese grater a lot better but y'all let me know what y'all think of this idea. Is it cute or not really? I thrifted these large finials. I'm pretty sure they came from a bed set, but anytime I see stuff like this at the thrift store, I absolutely pick it up. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the screw and now you have a big, huge piece of home decor and you can leave it as is, but I'm not going to. I wanna give it a beautiful, chippy old finish. I have been dying to try this Acadiana pear color in Fusion's milk paint, but first I'm going to take Fusion's raw silk and I'm just going to dab it randomly around the finials. Just try not to think about it too much. Just dab it a little bit here and there, and then I'm going to let this dry. If you have not used milk paint before, it comes in a powder form and you add one part water to one part powder and then mix it together. Once your paint is thoroughly mixed, then you are ready to paint your piece. And I only did one coat of paint on here. I felt like this color had really good coverage and I really wanted some of those colors underneath to come through. So I felt like one coat of paint was the right choice. And once I get the paint on, I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to apply a little bit of heat to this. What happens when you use milk paint and you apply heat? it makes it chip and crackle even more. It will do it on its own, but the heat kind of forces it along. Oh my gosh, y'all. I am just loving milk paint so much. Look at this. So it did not chip where the white is, but because I only did one coat of paint, you can kind of see that white coming through. It's given a different color. You can wet distress it or use sandpaper, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to rub it with my hand and let that chippiness come off wherever it wants to. Then I'm going to seal it up with some Fusion Hemp Oil and these finials are done. I have no clue what these things are. If you know what they are, definitely leave me a comment below. But after y'all see how cute this project turns out, y'all are going to be looking for these things everywhere. I got these dowel rods from Walmart and they fit perfectly inside these little metal things. Now I'm going to take these little black metal clips. I order them in bulk on Amazon and these little wooden pieces that I think I took apart a magazine rack for the spindles and these little pieces were left over and I keep everything because eventually I will need it. I'm using a combination of hot glue and Gorilla Glue to glue these pieces to the dowel rods. I'm putting the little, we'll call it the finial at the top and the clip a little bit lower. I'm using the combination of glue because I need the hot glue to dry it right away so it stays in place. And then the Gorilla Glue will keep it in place permanently, but it takes about 24 hours for it to completely dry. Now I wanna paint my pieces so it all looks cohesive. I'm gonna be using Fusions paint in the color Ash. I love this color. It's a little bit more of a charcoal black, kind of like a vintage black. So I really, really like it. I'm going to put one coat of the ash paint on this piece, and then I'm going to put the dowel rod back into the little metal thing. And then this piece is done. And this might be my favorite project, but I don't know. All the projects in this video were so good. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all are inspired. Leave a comment below. 
Let me know what's your favorite project and all of the products and the projects that I created on today's video are available on my website, juliesdesignsandsigns.com. And I have great news. If you love IOD products as much as I do, their new spring release is coming out next week. So y'all definitely be on the lookout for that. It will be up on my website as soon as possible. I will post updates as soon as I know about them, but I definitely wanted to give y'all a heads up for that. Um, it's going to be good. You are not going to want to miss it and things go quickly. So if you love it, make sure you grab it. So once again, I hope y'all enjoy today's video. Y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next one.